Hey everyone, Jeff Flack coming to you from Gorge Views. In this episode, I want to explore the question, what came first, the event center or the data center? Because it's a very important question. If we want clarity and if we want to move forward, we really need to understand the genesis of each of these things. There's a narrative come out of City Hall that the whole data center is just pulled out of thin air in order to thwart city government, i.e. the mayor's idea to have an event center. It kind of sounds crazy to me because why would a company want to do nothing with their land for 25 years? At the same time, the mayor just put out a video yesterday where he talked about things that NFR tried to do in the past and then didn't to try to make them look like uh, a bunch of liars. But in those instances, I do recall from previous research or having been here watching it unfold in the newspaper um, and, and looking at documents very closely, the city's generally the one who put the kibosh on all of NFR's previous proposals. And now it seems to me the city's trying to do it again. Why do I think that? Let's start with the city's first mention, the mayor's first mention of the event center which, as far as I can tell, happened on uh, October 16th of 2021 when he held a press conference and talked about how he came up with this idea for the Benton Center. A few uh, weeks ago, we started talking about um, some exciting development opportunities here in the city of Niagara Falls. And one of the things uh, that I started talking about is the need for the city uh, to strongly consider um, creating an event space. So there you have it. On October 16th of 2021, the mayor tells us that just a few weeks prior, or a couple of weeks prior, so somewhere perhaps the last week of September or the first few days of October, start having these conversations, right? To have an event space. And it goes from there to the CJS etch a sketch where they show their concept of an event space based on, well, based on let me let the mayor speak for himself, what they based their concept on. They, they, they took what was really kind of like um, fractured thoughts and ideas. And I, all I did was sit down with them and start talking about things, just sort of almost rambling. And they came up with this thing. So there you have it. CGS listened to the mayor's ramblings and they came up with this thing, which looks a lot like this thing that you can see right above my head, which is what I like to call the Etch-A-Sketch, which is the city's plan for an event center. Why did they choose this location? Based on the mayor's rambling, did they come up with the uh, site selection criteria? And then they go look at all the available land in the city to determine what the proper site criteria was? Or did they choose it randomly? I'll let you guys decide based on CJS's description of why they drew this plan on that plot of land. So we looked at a bunch of sites and we realized that there aren't a lot of large sites around. So the site that you're looking at now is directly across from, on John Daly Boulevard, directly across from the casino, um, which is a great gateway. It's not necessarily the be all and end all site where this project could go. It just happened to have enough real estate that when we started talking about all these different ideas that we wanted to accomplish, they could be accomplished on this site. So there you have it folks, October 16th of 2021, out of nowhere, because I can't find any prior record, any prior mention of it. we're going to pursue developing the event center in downtown Niagara Falls, the mayor ever asking city council to authorize him to engage a professional, professional firm to do any type of preliminary study or work on an event center in downtown Niagara Falls, part of his press conference. Now, uh, that isn't meant to impugn the mayor on being proactive, right? That's got to give you credit there. Be, be proactive, do what you can. If you already have a firm that's doing other stuff and they're willing to slide you a favor for free, God bless you. Good job. Take advantage of their desire to have future work with the city while they're executing some other contract. Show me 
where on earth CJS, City Council, authorized you to go to that firm to pursue this? Or where you mentioned this to City Council prior to that date? All right, and then we'll evaluate that. I've missed it. If it exists, I've missed it. And I'm willing to admit it's possible that I missed it. They're telling you it's not the end all be all of sites. They're telling you just there's not a lot of alternative. There aren't a lot of sites in Don Pine Falls. That's a very limited geographic area, mind you. And it is one of the more highly developed areas of the city. So, of course, there aren't a lot of sites. But there are other sites. Because if there aren't other sites, your statement would be this is the only place you can go. There's no other sites. But when you say there aren't a lot of sites, that means there are some other sites that are alternatives to this particular site. CGS itself says it's not the end all be all of sites. There are all our alternatives. They're pretty much saying we haven't done a site selection evaluation or site selection study. We haven't established objective criteria to rate alternative sites with. We're just spitballing. This was easy. Okay, now let's switch gears to the other side of the coin. When did the data center first become some type of planned concept? We already know we don't hear about Centennial Park from the mayor until October 16th press conference of 2021. And in that press conference, he admits it was just weeks prior that he really started to formulate these ideas in his head. All right, weeks prior, maybe as early as late September. But now this is a public document. It's part of the public record today. All right, this is a letter from the city that's telling us, all right, I'm, I'm giving you the signature portion and I'm giving you the headline. It's like a four-page document, though. If you really want it, there's a lot of places you can access it, but this is the city of Niagara Falls writing NFR, Roger Tavino, CEO of that organization, CEO of that organization, telling Roger that, hey, we've heard you. So obviously there's a prior discussion, a prior discussion between the city and NFR to October 4th. The city's now responding. It's referenced Urbicon Data Center. What is Urbicon? Urbicon is not an NFR. Urbicon is a completely different company. It is probably uh, the largest developer of data centers in the entire country of Canada. They're a player. Urbicon and NFR prior to coming to the city obviously talked a lot of stuff out and came to an agreement on how they collectively, in partnership with each other, would develop a $1.5 billion data center in this city on NFR's land. That in itself, you know, is a process. It's a process. You do not form a relationship between two entities of that size for a project this big without a lot of discussion. Once you've done that, now you come forward to the city and you start to embark upon the journey of how are we going to go from zero to data center? And this letter dated October 4th, 2021, 12 days before the press conference when we first hear of Centennial Park is a city responding to previous conversations they had with NFR regarding the Urbicon data center. So what came first? I beg you, what is your conclusion? 